Well, you're already there. What's the point of throwing it?
So this is it, finally made a final decision on the location of the workshop after three years. I've uh, considered different spots, I always really wanted it right here but I moved it two or three times and started looking and getting sites prepared, different spots of the property. But this just makes the most sense now. Um, once I decided to put the greenhouse in, expand the 
vegetable garden and add solar. I needed this space. It's probably the best spot. Well, it is the best spot on the property as far as southern exposure is concerned. Needed the fewest trees taken out to get um, full sunlight in here. Cabin's just right here. Workshop um, or a kitchen sauna. A little woodshed right there. So this is right there on the path, so it made sense anyway. It was already cleared. It was an old, uh, really old skitter trail where they um, would have dra dragged some logs through here. So when we first bought the property, even though it was growing up, you could see there's no trees through there. So it was almost like a path that mm -hmm. made sense for us to use to come in. Um, so that's the path that we used, or I used to come in and figure out where I was gonna put the cabin. Built the cabin there and continued to use this path where there was no trees. And then when I cleared out a few trees to put in that vegetable garden, it started to make more and more sense that this was the highest part of the, the property, the fewest trees to remove to get that full sunlight in here. And then the added bonus is that because this is a slope to the south, this is a microclimate, so it's probably the hottest part of the property and that, um, well, hopefully not the driest now that I have the pond, but um, anyway, southern exposure means good sunlight and uh, heat for growing vegetables longer, for a little bit longer season. And allowed me to grow hotter uh, vegetables like um, uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, stuff like that. Which will also mainly go in the greenhouse. Anyway, so that's it. So right here, 12 by 24, 12 feet this way, 24 that way. The bedrock is right there. I just have to remove some of the rubble and dirt to expose it fully. And then I can um, hand mix some concrete uh, footings right on the bedrock. You don't need them to be too deep because it's right on bedrock that's not gonna move. So I'll do that this coming week. Hopefully get some cooler weather. Um, and then the, mill, the logs I've been milling and I've got more to mill. Uh, I've got all those, well, a whole bunch of trees, all the trees that basically came down, I'm milling into lumber and big timbers where it's practical, like where the log is big enough and straight enough, and then the rest is uh, firewood and charcoal. So nothing's going to go to waste. The um, workshop and cellar, because this will be a cellar right here on this level, and then above that, so while starting about here, will be the second story which is the workshop and the entrance will actually be facing that way. Um, I don't like facing entranceways, uh, entranceway um, north typically but I've got the trees right there so uh, it'll still be sort of a microclimate to work at in the spring and fall and winter when it's cold. Um, that tree line will buffer the, the cold north wind and stuff. So it's a uh, and then probably enough windows looking this way that I can uh, heat the workshop partially with passive solar in the uh, cooler season than the cold season. So full open sky to the south. This pond is a game changer. Um, this is not a waterway, like it's not a stream flowing through here and there's no spring so it's not like a fantastic spot for a pond but it did always hold water because that's solid bedrock there too. So this bedrock goes down, right down into that low spot and then right back up again. The longhouse is just up there and this is just a little valley that goes down and feeds um, uh, into a little swampy area down there. So all of this water, I'm just it's really just what runs off of here, off of all these banks and collects in this low spot. So it's going to take a while to fill up and will never be Kind of be stagnant so i'm not sure if i'm gonna have to put like a little solar pump to circulate the water or something or a little fountain uh, we'll see at, at the very least i'm capturing water instead of letting it escape into just uh, saturating all of the ground so it works great for for us and uh, allow me to irrigate the crops with it too i'm also gonna hope to mainly collect rainwater still so i'm putting a cistern into the uh, cellar here and um, the greenhouse will have a huge water reservoir as well. And they'll collect all the water off the greenhouse roof and feed it into that. I uh, still have to put my troughs on all the, like the cabin in the workshop or the cabin in the forest kitchen. Um, so that'll collect water into the barrels. So I'll continue mainly to think, I think drink that water. But uh, yeah, it's coming together. Like I said, finally, 
birds flying over them. Oh, it's a hawk. Sharp shinned hawk is circling and calling, trying to flush out birds to chase down. That's cool. So this pond is going to be a wildlife haven for sure. I've just finished digging it yesterday and overnight a uh, deer came walking along the bank and right down into the water and then out here somewhere. It's, and that's going to be typical. I think the deer and the moose will start coming around checking on this pond and eating the vegetation that starts propping up, including the stuff I plant. And so a lot of it there is going to be wildlife plantings that I don't expect to have much opportunity to harvest before them. But I'll um, create redundancy and I'm going to plant an abundance of stuff. So I think uh, I'll probably not fence that little area and let them feed and hope that enough is saved for me. And then this area here, I'm going to have some kind of primitive fence around the exterior. Um, so that's, yeah, final decision. This is the shop. This is underway now. I'll get this leveled out before next week's video. I'm sure I'll have a hopefully the bottom course on and start working my way up here. There's another hawk. Not sure what that looked like a merlin actually. <laughs> That's why I love it here. So much wildlife, so much silence when I'm not making noise, which eventually I won't be. Callie's loving this new pond. Like she just dies in this heat. 40 degrees Celsius with the wind chill today. So she's just lying right out there in the middle of the pond and when as it fills she'll be able to start swimming in it properly. I see you. You want me to throw it? All right, well, I'm going to pack up, I think. This is way too hot for me to work in this clearing. Um, so I'm going to go for a swim and, and go fishing. Go out with the canoe with Cali and get out on the water and go for uh, just get just <laughs> get in the water, basically, and stay wet. Come back at this this evening when the sun gets behind the trees here. So anyway, appreciate it. Um, hopefully you'll tune in next week to see what progress I've made on this and uh, t continue to talk about the other plans as it as they come together so thanks for watching appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time take care